One of the big metrics is we need to drive those unemployment numbers down, right? I mean, you see, again, we are in some areas 25% compared to 8%. You look at some of the shootings that we're seeing in the city as well. And we've been very intentional not to only measure success based on violence. Mayor Brandon Johnson has taken charge with a vision to address the deep-rooted challenges that Chicago faces. Johnson's administration has outlined plans focusing on public safety, economic growth, and educational reforms. He aims to address crime rates with a balanced approach that emphasizes community engagement and policing reforms. We have demonstrated that we can change the world, Chicago. We finally will have a city hall, a government that truly belongs to the people of Chicago. That Chicago can truly be a safe, world-class city as remarkable as its potential. We get to make sure that our hopes and our dreams do not have to stop and end today. We get to make sure, you all, that the people of Chicago will finally have what they've been waiting for. The most radical thing we can ever do, you all, is to actually love people. And our administration will do just that. Recently, the mayor of Chicago has reportedly taken steps to expose alleged misconduct and potential crimes involving Tiffany Henyard, the controversial mayor of Dalton. So if defunding the police isn't the answer, what, what do you plan to do with your resources? Is it less money or more money to police departments? Well, it's, it's more money towards the, the areas of needs, right? And as I mentioned before, you know, we're working to double the amount of young people that we hire, um, not just for summer jobs, but for year-round positions. I got some advice. If you can, move out of Chicago right now. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot has unexpectedly become a controversial figure in the investigation surrounding Tiffany Henyard, the mayor of Dalton. Lightfoot is allegedly said to have exposed certain aspects of the investigation involving Henyard, raising questions about her involvement. Speculation has arisen about the reasons behind Lightfoot's actions, with some suggesting political motivations or personal interests. Um, two documents I'm going to talk to about are the annual financial report, and you see the citation here um, to state law, and the audited financial statements. The village has not, and I'm going to repeat that, the village has not complied with these statutory requirements since fiscal year 2021. There's no annual financial report available after 2021, and no audited financial statements. Um, uh, after 2021. So what that means is the information that we're providing you has not been thoroughly audited by a CPA, but we do have information coming from an, uh, an entity that essentially serves uh, as the finance department uh, of the village. Historically, from what we can tell, the village has had small or no uh, full-time financial staff. Um, at various times, you know, statutorily, uh, there is a provision treasurer not exists and has it for some time. There's a provision for um, a finance director. There's been intermittent people that have served that role, but that role has been vacant as of May of this year. And before that, the person who held the role started working part-time as of the end of December in 2023. In a surprising turn of events, a trustee from the village of Dalton has allegedly decided to blow the whistle on Mayor Tiffany Henyard, accusing her of multiple wrongdoings. This decision has intensified the scrutiny on Henyard's administration, with the trustee reportedly providing insider information that could impact ongoing investigations. WGN Investigates has learned South Suburban politician Tiffany Henyard has lost another key ally. Until recently, Henyard enjoyed near unanimous support on the Thornton Township Board, but now trustee Carmen Carlisle says after trusting Henyard and remaining silent, she will be a whistleblower against Henyard. Carlisle released a statement to WGN that reads in part, For the past two years, Henyard has manipulated employees, vendors and residents using her position to increase her influence, all while projecting a false image of success funded by the hardworking taxpayers of Thornton Township and the village of Dalton.
Henyard shows no accountability or conscience for her actions against employees or taxpayers. Henyard has denied wrongdoing and claims her opponents are out for what she calls clickbait. Tomorrow at 9, tune in for exclusive new reporting on Henyard's spending that she tried to keep secret. Mayor Tiffany Henyard has allegedly faced questions regarding her official and unofficial trips, sparking criticism from trustees and residents alike. When pressed for answers about the nature and funding of these trips, Henyard reportedly attempted to avoid direct responses, raising suspicions about their legitimacy. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? There has been considerable discussion among Dalton trustees about whether Mayor Tiffany Henyard should step down from her position. Allegedly, several trustees have voiced concerns over Henyard's leadership style, decision-making, and the various allegations surrounding her. We don't want you here. You are your administration. Y'all need to go. Mayor, you might as well step down too. You know, because I'm tired of that too. You know, this is a disgrace that you have done to this village. Tiffany Henyard has allegedly been linked to numerous controversies and criminal allegations during her tenure as mayor, making her one of the most controversial figures in Dalton's history. Reports suggest that Henyard has been implicated in various unethical practices, though details remain unverified. The nature of these allegations includes financial mismanagement, misuse of power, and conflicts of interest. Just four days ago, she fired the chief of police because he was investigating all of those credit card receipts and all those claims of her funneling taxpayer dollars into her privately owned cancer awareness charity, which you cannot do. And in one of those investigations that the chief of police was investigating, it stated here in this tweet, and shout out to this person for tweeting this, they said, uh, Mayor Tiffany Henyard is one of the most corrupt ever. She actually hired a child offender overpays her police officers she does she overpays her police officers um to be her security which what do you need that much security for you're a mayor of a town with about twenty thousand people one of the officers was paid thirteen thousand dollars in two weeks for 300 hours of overtime because nobody believes that nobody believes that anybody worked 300 hours of overtime so some this has to be investigated because it looks like these numbers were being padded so the chief of police or the ex-chief of police had his attorney investigate these claims and they're stating they're standing behind them that there were uh, allegations of corruption and he was investigating them now i'm going to do a little bit more digging because i think there's a lot more to know about this tiffany henyard story because child because anybody who shows up to a city town hall meeting dressed like nino brown is definitely doing something that they shouldn't be doing moreover from allegations of misusing public resources to questionable administrative decisions, Henyard's leadership has been a subject of intense public debate. Tiffany Henyard is the most controversial mayor in all of America. So this mayor named Tiffany Henyard is the mayor of a place called Dalton, Illinois. And essentially every single resident in Dalton wants Tiffany out of office. This is mainly because Tiffany's very controversial use of taxpayer money. For starters, Tiffany has a full security detail that goes everywhere with her in the town. This security detail is estimated to be about 250 k a year. In addition to security, Tiffany also uses taxpayer funds to do things like buying billboards with her face and name on it. She also puts her name all over government vehicles and buildings throughout the town. And she even has her own 2024 calendar. And of course, she put her own birthday in the calendar. Now, in addition to all of this, Tiffany has also made it extremely hard for anyone to run against her. Currently, she makes around 225 k a year. However, if someone were to run against her and win, they would not be getting anywhere close to what Tiffany's making. This is because Tiffany is proposing a 90% cut in her salary, but only if someone who is not her is elected. This would drop the pay from 225 k to just 25 k Yet even with that massive pay cut, people still want to run against Tiffany just so they can get her out. 
A notable incident under Tiffany Henyard's administration involves the alleged bankruptcy charges against an employee hired by her office. This situation has raised questions about Henyard's hiring practices and the vetting process for employees. But apparently in 2017, he was on the wrong end of a lawsuit and settled with the plaintiff for about $55,000. But in 2019 and 2020, he filed petitions in order to stay the settlement, basically saying that he didn't have enough money to pay for it, still owing $43,000 thousand dollars of that settlement and under oath in bankruptcy court he underreported his monthly income as well as concealed bank accounts he also lied about being separated from his wife and that she did not live with him or contribute to his monthly income and mortgage all of this so that he could understate his income so now he's facing a nine count indictment including bankruptcy fraud making false statements and perjury and each count carries a maximum of five years and I just want to make it clear to the people in my comments who are making this racist, don't, I will delete your comment and possibly block you. And this is why I usually don't do stories of women in color in a negative light for that exact reason. But part of my platform is uncovering corruption. And this woman is a narcissist. Like this was literally a poster about an event she held this weekend, giving out free book bags to kids for school. And here we have Tiffany Henyard, big letters across. Every picture has her in it. And my favorite part is, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Tiffany Henyard. She gave a quote from herself on the poster. That is next level. At a young age, Tiffany Henyard has been described by critics as inexperienced and allegedly unprepared for the complexities of her role as mayor. Detractors argue that her actions and decisions reflect a lack of maturity and understanding of municipal governance. There's a real life parks and rec situation going on in a small village outside of Chicago thanks to this mayor, Tiffany Henyard. And with George Santos leaving the house, this is the new funniest, most corrupt politician in the United States of America. I learned about Tiffany today when I read an article about the ordinance she's putting in that states if she loses her re-election to be mayor, the mayor salary will be decreased from $225,000 to $25,000. But if she wins, it will stay the same. When I read that, I realized I had to learn everything about this woman. And as it turns out, the 90% pay cut doesn't even crack the top 10 of the most corrupt things that this woman has done in a short year that she's been the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. If you're on a highway near Dalton, Illinois, you will see billboards of Tiffany Henyard. These are all billboards that are paid for by taxpayers and they advertise things such as senior services and free fresh produce. Tiffany always puts her face and name in huge letters opposed to the actual thing it's advertising in order to get her name out there. And as I said, this is all paid for by taxpayers. Tiffany recently went to Las Vegas with a few of her friends to attend a conference while there, she spent all of this money on airfare, hotels, and then money at restaurants like Ruth Chris's, Cafe Hollywood, Hot and Juicy Crawfish. And this was all paid for by the taxpayers because she was there attending a conference. One of the more bizarre incidents involving Mayor Tiffany Henyard was her participation in a dance video with police officers, which sparked widespread criticism. Allegedly, this video raised questions about her use of police resources and the appropriate of her actions as a public official. Critics argued that the dance video was unprofessional and detracted from the serious issues facing Dalton, such as public safety and community relations. She's also recorded a music video with taxpayer dollars. It's not even her own song, it's just her singing over it. I mean, <laughs> this is a legit comedy show. I can't wait for the documentary about this. Look at her with the cops. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, all of the things I've mentioned, this is the, it's only the tip of the iceberg with her. I could do a 10 part series on Tiffany. She, <laughs> she is the most iconic politician running right now. She just does what she wants. And then she, 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 just, she just keeps it moving. She goes, I'm gonna keep spending taxpayer dollars. I'm gonna have to do a 10 part series on this woman because 
she may be the go. The public has been largely surprised and skeptical about former Mayor Laurie Lightfoot's alleged involvement in investigating Tiffany Henyard's case. Many did not expect Lightfoot to be connected to the Dalton mayor's controversies, given the significant difference in their political spheres. I did not see this update coming. Y'all remember Tiffany Henyard, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois? First, she was accused of using taxpayer money to fund her lavish lifestyle. Then when the city council unanimously voted for an investigation, she vetoed it. Then last month, a member of her staff accused her of covering up an essay that happened on one of their business trips. Then this week, after a city council meeting showed overwhelmingly that the people want her to step down and resign, the board of trustees has appointed the former Chicago mayor, Lori Lightfoot, to lead the investigations into the essay. If you're not from the Chicago area, you may have no idea who she is and ask why is this a big deal because Lori Lightfoot was an awful mayor corrupt mayor she lied about everything she wanted to do in office and after only one term in office she was voted out in the primaries oh and she didn't lose by just a little in the primary she came in third she was forced out of the job in disgrace. Literally last month, a book was written about how terrible she was as a mayor. So why would the trustees hire somebody who is terrible at a job? Well, that's because one of the trustees is the person accused of essaying the staff member. So the person that the investigation is about is the one who got to hire the investigator. I do not trust her and I do not trust her. And Lori Lightfoot is under investigation herself. The investigator for the Board of Ethics found that Lightfoot failed to uphold her fiduciary duty to the city, misused city property, and solicited campaign contributions from employees that she supervised. Federal investigations into Tiffany Henyard's alleged actions have reportedly intensified, with rumors circulating that she may face serious legal consequences, including potential jail time. These investigations are said to be focused on a range of allegations, from financial misconduct to misuse of power. South Chicago Land's super mayor might be going to a supermax prison very soon. The FBI issued multiple subpoenas in the last week, and now we know that a federal grand jury has been investigating Tiffany Henyard for corruption since November. I do not know what more they need to see. The residents of the town literally had a rally called Take Our Township Back last week. It won't be her first time behind bars, but unlike when she was arrested for vehicle trespass, she is now facing 22 criminal charges and her own lawyer just dropped out because guess what? She hasn't paid her bills and the city now owes as much as $20 million. This is what happens when people who do not earn their position of authority get access to power. If you didn't know, while she was voted mayor back in 2021, the vast majority of her income and power really comes from her position as township supervisor, where she makes over $220,000 a year. But she only has that huge salary because she inherited it with the position from the predecessor who passed away. Tiffany actually passed an incredibly shady ordinance, so if somebody defeated her in the next election, their salary would only be 25 grand, so it's literally not worth it to run against her. You know it's a bad situation when the residents think the best idea is to bring in Lori Lightfoot for $400 an hour. It's so frustrating how slow the wheels of justice turn, but it feels like this story is starting to accelerate, and I hope that Dalton citizens don't have to wait much longer to see her in an orange pantsuit. Questions have been raised regarding Tiffany Henyard's salary, which critics argue is unusually high for a mayor of a small town like Dalton, with a population of around 20,000. Allegedly, her compensation package has drawn scrutiny as residents question the justification behind such a salary. Well, keep that in mind when I go through some of the allegations against this mayor. So not only does she serve as the mayor of this village, she's also Thornton Township Supervisor. Now, she is being accused of historic, historic misuse of taxpayer funds to the sum of First of all, using the local police as her own personal security detail, costing up to $1 million. She's also being accused of misusing taxpayer money to pay for lavish trips for herself and collecting a combined salary 
with the supervisor position and her mayor position of $287,000. This is a small town in Illinois, 20,000 people. The controversy highlights Broder concerns about financial management within Henyard's administration and has become a focal point for those who believe that public funds are being misallocated under her leadership. U.S. government is $400,000 and she's making just under $300,000. Now before we go even further, just so you have a bit of an idea of, of some of the antics that Tiffany will pull off, uh, this is her at a, a, a local public meeting dressed up as an infamous criminal kingpin named Nino Brown. In one notable instance, Tiffany Henyard allegedly attended a public meeting dressed in a manner that many found unorthodox, reportedly resembling a character that some deemed unprofessional for an official setting. They're also requesting an investigation by the FBI and some of these allegations or accusations, I should say, are so serious that even some local businesses are saying that their licenses and things that they need are not getting renewed after they made decisions to cut, cut off ongoing uh, financial donations to her campaign. So it's a pretty big deal. And this is one of the things that she was questioned on. She has this foundation, a cancer research foundation that people are also wanting an investigation into as she has not disclosed how she has used taxpayer money in that, fan, in that foundation. This incident raised eyebrows and fueled further criticism of Henyard's approach to her role as mayor. While some defended her right to express herself, others felt that such actions were inappropriate for a public official and reflected poorly on the professionalism expected of a mayor. The event added to the ongoing narrative of controversy surrounding her tenure. It's describing the moment in which she dressed up from that clip I showed you earlier of Nino Brown. So she did this at a board meeting. Not only that, now I'm assuming that taxpayer funds were used to pay for all of this. So she dressed up as him, uh, her en ensemble included a stuffed toy dog at her side, just as Brown had a real one in the movie. Uh, also, she brought in a DJ. Uh, during the meeting, Hanyard had the DJ punctuate her political points with musical cues, including Rihanna's hit single, Be Better Have My Money, where she demanded trustees approve a bill for a village ice rink. That is one of two ice rink trustees say they never authorized spending money on. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned until next time.